Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader. Welcome to this session, how to day trade the futures markets with less than $1,000. Today's focus is going to be on trading the micro oil contract. Now, longer term, you wouldn't want to continue to trade the micro oil because of the commission costs. But what you'll find is that it's a great spot to cut your teeth as a new trader or perhaps as a struggling trader, then advance to trading for larger contract. And we will be discussing the differences as we proceed. The number one difference is the tick value. Now, typically, if we're, say, trading an eight tick Renko chart, or if you're trading a 34 or a 55 tick chart, you might have an 8 to 10 tick stop, which means typically your stop's going to be around 8 to $10 in comparison to $80 to $100 on the big contract. However, as I'm going to illustrate to you, once you get to a certain size or a certain number of contracts you're trading, it really pays you to jump up to the big contract. Now, micro futures have really taken off and they, they truly are a game changer for all traders. So who's today's webinar for? And why should you watch this webinar from start to finish? Well, you'll learn how to generate an income for life, whether it be for retirement, for living, whether your goal is to make an extra 100 or 1,000 a week, or to learn how to day trade for a living. I'll teach you how to master the art of day trading the e-minis without a lot of money or taking a lot of risk. Now, one of the big questions is going to be, well, look, how do we take a small account and grow that? Well, I'm going to be showing you a number of tools where you'll be able to sit down and quickly analyze that on and really prepare your own trading plan. And let's remember, traders, that trading is a business. Hence, we need to treat it that way. Now, I do need to pull up a, the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Uh, please feel free to pause the recording uh, to read the disclaimer should you wish to. Now, if you haven't already done so, a very quick advertisement, and then we'll get into it. Uh, you can go to my website and obtain a free copy of my ebook, The Truth About Day Trading. Even better still, become a member. Over 10,000 traders have now joined me. For $197, you gain uh, really the world's best day trading strategies. Uh, there's, over, there's now over 300 hours of online training. Uh, there's free uh, indicators for TradeStation, Ninja7, Ninja8, MT4, Think or Swim. And even if I don't have indicators for your program, I give you the coding so you know exactly what to do and how to set them up. Make no mistake, traders, this is a $10,000 program for only $197. And last of all, as a bonus now, you can also join my live coaching sessions for one month absolutely free. It's included. Uh, I have over 200 traders every week attend my training sessions. And so I run them from 8 p.m. to 6 p.m. Sorry, let me get this right. From 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And of course, I've also got my live trading room. But where you start from is with my Day Traders Fast Track program. Now, should you choose to continue us after your first month, it's only $97 a month. Cancel it anytime. All of this for $197. End of advertisement. Let's now get into it. So first of all, the micro contracts have taken off like a rocket. Over a, a billion contracts have traded now across 20 micro contracts. Now, 20 different contracts. Uh, now, what it means to you as a trader, you can start small and build your account. Even if you've got a larger account size, uh, I recommend, say if you've got 5,000, 10,000, 100,000, I recommend you start with a micro and you build. You what earn what I call the right to trade for large contracts. You know, there's so many educators out there will make it look so easy. Well, I'm going to give you the truth today. And when you join, you've got a, I've got a couple of tools I'll show you where you can truly sit down and set a realistic plan in place for your career. Now, 
When the micros were introduced a year or so ago, uh, of course, there's always been micro, say on gold, and there was a type of micro for oil, but nothing like they've now got. So on the ES, you can um, uh, trade the micro ES, which is going to be the next video I do, by the way, which is only $1.25 a tick compared to $12.50 on the big one. So these micros are 10% of the size of the larger contracts. So it's just a beautiful way to start. Now, let me give you, well, look, I don't really want to call them secrets because they're not really secrets, but the truth about trading full stop. You know, you, you probably remember the great movie which had Jack Palance in it and uh, Billy Crystal, City Slickers, where um, he um, Billy asked uh, Jack Palance the secret of life and um, um, Jack Palance held up the old grumpy cowboy, held up his one finger and had one finger and he said, um, uh, Billy Crystal said, what, your finger? Is that the secret? He said, no, the one thing. Well, what's the one thing? You've got to find out what the one thing is. Now, what's it got to do with trading? Everything. The one thing when it comes to trading is to trade with the trend initially. Now, I know you probably have heard this a hundred times. Now, unfortunately, traders have to go out there and test this theory themselves. But what I don't want you to forget, to forget traders, is the psychological damage you're doing to yourself when you blow your account once or twice, two or three times. It, it, seriously, that's probably one of the greatest challenges I have with traders is getting them over the mistakes they made early in their career. So I want you to imagine this. The dark blue line represents the higher Time frame. What we're looking for is for pullbacks and retracements, then taking trend trades back in the direction of the higher time frames. Sounds simple, but it's brilliant and it works. And there's so many great books written on this, and it's something which I'll show you on the screen when we get to it in a moment, but it's so important. The other important thing here is something that um, really very few traders are, well, they, they know about risk management to a degree. But remember, this is a business, the maximum risk of 2% every trade. Now, I'll show you a, a great document that was put together by one of my members called Raymond. Uh, he's, he is seriously a professional trader who's, you, you'll hear the name. He's going to do big things in the industry. Number one, his business plan that he created when he first joined me. Number two, the work that he puts into uh, mastering the art of trading. But with this, what I'm going to show you is starting off with only $600. Now, the $600 is your minimum, even though your broker will say to you, look, you can trade with only $100 or $50, trade the micro. Well, we need to consider risk. That is, if your stop loss is going to be 8 to $10 uh, in, and you need to include the commissions, okay, you need to have that six to $800 in your account. Very, very important. Traders, if you stuff up on your money management, do you know what? The trading gods come down and steal or close your account. They take the money. They really do. So money management is critical. So as I mentioned. Big thank you to Raymond H. Uh, for the following, because it just really gives us a good stepping stone, uh, rather than something that's been prepared by me, uh, just to show you the thinking of some of my other traders. Now, this is actually version two, what Raymond put together. So, as Raymond said here, trading MCL as a new trader may be the way to smoothing the road from simulated trading to live trading. That's one of the beautiful parts now with most trading platforms is that you can trade in SIM. Now, SIM is nothing like trading with real money. However, you can go from SIM where you master the dome, you master the setups, then you can start trading the micros and build from there. Then you go and start trading oil, the 6E, the ES, any other market. So what uh, Raymond has done here is some typical stop loss sizes, etc. okay, and a little trading plan, 80% a uh, win-loss ratio with the 2B and 34B. They're just brilliant setups that we have. And the 80%, we've got uh, a saying in our trade room, if it's not an 80% trade, don't take it. Now, yes, you can take uh, a 
trades at a lower probability, but it really comes down to understanding what you're doing. But as a new trader, you want to trade the best of the best. Now, your target is only $20 a day. That's right. It's only $20 a day. However, because of commissions, okay, if you have a loss, that may um, take you two winning trades just to break even. So what's really important is you approach it and only trade the best of the best. Now, as you're about to see on the following spreadsheet in a moment, once your account reaches 6,000, you can then start to trade the big contracts because what that means is it's like with the $600. What's 2% of $600? It's $12. What's 2% of 6,000? 120. So once you build your account, you can then start to trade the larger contract, which is a lot easier to generate two to $400 a day per contract. The commissions are much less. Uh, and so it's just a lot smoother. So effectively, as you're about to see, you could start with an account balance uh, at the end of week one of $700 and turn that into a $60,000 account with a weekly income of $10,000 a week. And I think it shows here in a moment, 34 weeks. That's starting off with just $20 a day. And let me explain this to you. Before you turn your, your, your nose up and say, this can't be done, I want you to approach this with a growth mindset, not a fixed mindset. Because if you've got a fixed mindset, guess what? It won't work for you. A growth mindset means that you're open to the possibility. It doesn't mean you don't verify, but you at least be open to the possibility. My job is to teach you how to do this. So let's just say here you started off with $600, and I'll show you on the spreadsheet in a moment. This is a copy. Uh, $20 a day. That's all you're after. Okay, and how this works is every time you double your money, you go from 600 to 1200, you start trading two contracts. When you go up to 1800, you start trading three contracts. So, in other words, you've got to double your money before you start trading an additional contract. Now, once we get to week 17, uh, you're up to about $6,000 in your account. That's when you flip over and you start trading the large contract. Now, some traders, unfortunately, a lot of people say 17 weeks stuff and I don't want to wait that long. I want to get things moving quicker. Traders, there are old traders, there are bold traders, but there are no old bold traders. You've got to treat this as a 90 to 180 day internship. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. Forget all of the good stuff you read um, and you see on YouTube, but it's really easy. Traders, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Fortunately for me, for an example, it's not rocket science, but there is a skill set. And the, the micros make it easy. So over 17 weeks, we've now built our account to 6,000. Now we start by trading the big contract. And within another 17 weeks, we're now up to, and at the end of that week, we'd be up to earning 10,000 a week. Our account is uh, $60,000. And we're still only working on earning $200 a day on the big contract. Remember, the micro is 10% of the big contract. Now, this is something that most people don't want you to know. So, really, realistically, traders, how many trades a day do you need to execute to, to seriously achieve this? Now, the reason we sort of also allow six to eight hundred dollars is that you're going to be trading quite often what we call the Globex market. For an example, I'm recording this down under in Australia. It's midday. And so we're in what we call the Globex market, the X market. And it means that your broker requires that you have a much larger amount of money in your account to cover. Why? Because you've got more volatility after hours and you've got a lot, lot less volume being traded. And so they require a larger margin. So in this particular case, and, and you actually get this calculator when you join, and let me just quickly show you this. So you, you can show, we, I'll come back to this one in a moment because you can put in all sorts of figures. And then I've also got the spreadsheet here, how much you start with, how much per day. So what it allows you to do is to start to plan your career and what is scenarios and what if I start off right from the bottom and I build over a 
period of time. Because without a plan, okay, you're really planning to fail. You've got to have a plan. So with the micro oil, it's $1 a tick. Now, unfortunately, the commission is very high. It's $1.52 on average with most brokers. Now, what that means is if you were trading the big contract where uh, uh, it's 10 times that size, the commission typically is around the $4.80 to say $5 across the board. Okay, here, this works out to be $15.20 per trade compared to less than $5 on the big contract. So you're paying a lot more in commissions on the micros. However, it's a great spot to start, okay, because you've got much lower risk, you build your skill set. And so you've got to approach it with the attitude, look, it's just really cost of doing business in my early days until I build my account. Now, even if you've got the six to 8,000 already to trade oil, and there's some other fantastic markets like the 6E, the Euro, futures contract, the Aussie dollar, there's the S&P, there's, there's a ton of great markets, by the way. But today, we're just focused on uh, the black gold, on the micro and the big contract. But um, it's a great spot to start. Earn your stripes develop your skill set and build from there. So uh, we can see here that if we had an eight tick stop loss with an eight tick target, and my goal is $20 a day, doesn't sound like much, but you saw the power of compounding. It's massive. And remember, you're only starting to trade a second contract or a third or a fourth, every time you've earned that extra money. We've been very conservative. Why? Because it's realistic. This is how you master the art of day trading. Here, on an 80% level uh, win-loss ratio, you need to um, uh, execute six trades a day. Now, let's just do one more thing. What if, so let's just make this a dollar a tick, and let's say we've got a dollar fifty-two, one fifty-two. Whoops, just go back here. Get rid of that dollar. Sorry, I'm sort of half recording this in a dark room. Uh, and let's just say here our win-loss ratio is only seventy-five. Okay, and our loss rate, of course, is twenty-five percent, and we're after twenty dollars a day. Now, what this tells me then, if I'm only winning. Uh, what's that? Um, uh, um, seven out of 10 effectively. All right. So here, I need to execute a trade today. Okay. And we'll see in a moment how realistic is that. It's very realistic, particularly on, and at the moment, oil for last year because of COVID has been very hit and miss. It's It's been a very difficult market, but we're now seeing the volumes are picking up. And as I mentioned, I've actually got a couple of other markets I prefer, but the great thing about this market is you can get going for only $600 to $800, okay? That's what makes it attractive. This is what you need to know about. Now, let me just show you one more. So, Let's just go here for a moment, and I just want to show you what this ultimately is going to mean to you. So you get up to here, and all of a sudden, and let's just be conservative here and say you need uh, $8,000 per big contract you trade. Realistically, a goal of $200 a day is very conservative to someone that knows what they're doing. And within 24 weeks, here, you're earning near $10,000 a week. Okay, uh, you get up there uh, with most pro traders that it's just say netting 300 plus a day, right? You're up to 10 grand a week potentially within their 14 weeks. Now, th what that means is by having $8,000 allowance, you can trade after hours as well, and you can have a risk factor of up to $160, which we just don't get anywhere near that, quite frankly. But it just, you always want to have a buffer. But this is the true potential. But to start, you've got to start and build your skill set. That's where we start from. Now, what is very important, traders, that you keep it simple when you get going. And it's called decision fatigue. And there's another, it ties in with another concept. It's called ego depletion. Not ego as in the ego of the person. Gee, he's got a big ego. But it comes into 
the mistakes we start to make. And there's some very good scientific reasons why these happen. And it's a bit like, you know, trading a small contract and building from there. Um, every time you have a win, you release dopamine in the brain. It's, it's really the science behind it now is fascinating. Uh, and it's now proven the way you've got to approach your trading. Now, you only want to start with two setups. Okay. And as I've mentioned earlier in the slide, I teach, gee, it's probably close to 20 different strategies now. However, we have our core strategies, the 34B and 2B, uh, traded correctly, are a good 80% trade. Once you own those, you can then consider perhaps doing counter trend trading, picking tops and bottoms and whatever. But that's one of the biggest mistakes that traders initially make. Now, it's not quite that easy because you've still got to understand how do you identify a trend? What is divergence and angulation? Because you've got to be careful against about trading against them. So let's go and have a look at a chart here. Now, with the micro chart we're looking at right here now, yep, you've got it up there. This is um, actually called a Renko chart. And we also, uh, you can use tick charts and Renko's. This is the MES, by the way. So you can either trade using uh, tick charts. You can trade using volume. Yes, you can use time-based charts. It really doesn't matter as long as, okay, you can read price action correctly. And this is one of the advantages we've got with Renko once you learn how to trade it correctly. Now, let me expand this. So before I do, what we've got here is what we call our entry chart, our anchor chart one, and anchor chart two. The key, the two key ones really are your entry chart and your anchor chart one. If you find it too confusing to have in your third chart, all you're looking at doing is an added trend confirmation, you can start just with your anchor chart one and your entry chart and build from there. Now, as I mentioned, we're looking at the black gold oil here. A couple of things first of all, these blue lines, these are what we call pivot levels. Very important, but notice these black ones. Can you see the bounce points there and there and here? Look at this one here. These I'd already preset. Oil has some magic numbers there. Look at this from this morning. This is the Globex open. Now, the market opens up but um, uh, what is it, 1700 Central Standard Time here. And you can see how we rallied up, we hit our magic number, hit our magic number, hit our magic number. Now, sometimes you go through them, sometimes, usually you'll get this sort of effect and you can go back over days and days. They're just numbers that floor traders have been using for years. And in many ways, they become what we call a self-fulfilling prophecy because so many traders trade them. So what are we looking for? Number one, I want you to notice here, this is what we call a fanning of the EMAs. See that yellow dot, that one there? That actually coincides uh, with a 50 CCI zero line crossover, which hundreds of thousands of traders around the world use for a trend directional indicator. I've actually found two simple EMAs that do exactly the same thing. But they identify uh, and give you a big heads up on the trend direction. Now, what we want to be doing here, traders, is trading in the direction of, yes, our lower time frame, but also in the direction of the higher time frame. Okay? So what we're doing is looking for retracements and pullbacks. Now, little things with oil, and this is why it's important you learn how to trade this market. Can you see just there how we missed the black line? See that there? Only by one tick. See how we then rallied up, and we then had what we call a 34B. We then come down and tested that right there. Okay, uh, we've got to be, when you get to know these, these round numbers, these special numbers, you Whatever you do, if ever you see price action miss it, be very careful trading uh, opposite them because you literally always come down and kiss them at least once. So what we're looking at doing here and with uh, the spreadsheet I was showing you, we're looking for eight tick moves. 
Now, there's a whole lot of ways we can identify the entries. This is what we call a rule of one. We've also got the white ones, white candles here are the super scalper. Uh, and here I've got the short term stochastic cook. We've got multiple entries. Number one, am I trading in the direction of the higher time frame? Yes and yes. Okay, so what I'm doing is looking for a retracement and a trend continuation, which is we've got right there. Now, what we're looking for as a minimum, uh, if we use the rule of one, eight steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, that's right down to the pivot there. Now, that's eight. Now, that there, remember we needed six trades. There alone, if you're trailing using what we call the blue trigger line, you've just picked up two of those six trades in that one move, if you wished. Now, uh, if you're trading one contract, by the way, let me just clarify this. I usually recommend that you have a fixed target. You can always start to trade um, uh, um, and go for your larger targets. Once you start trading multiple contracts, get the cash register ringing on your first contract. Okay, so what we're looking at is trading in the direction of our higher time frame. What we want to avoid is this. See how our higher time frames are now sideways. You can trade the wide swings, you can trade the divergence moves, but you've got to be very careful when you start to get this just here. Okay, this is where traders get killed. Okay, so see this here. Okay, great. Great trade, here and here. Now, here you would have actually been stopped out of that trade, potentially, if you had have taken that. The second one worked out mighty fine. Usually you'll find the next move. I want you to notice the 200 EMA here. Okay, notice how it's flat. The 200 is like a price magnet. You'll test it, and you've also got a floor pivot there. You'll test it at least um, uh, once before you usually go 90% of the time. Um, we actually have a strategy we call the pivot magnet where we sell into the pivot and we sell into the 200 because they're just such high probability trades. They really are. So as you can see there, um, uh, easily achieved our 8, 10, 12 ticks per move. Now, the whole concept here is, is to get up to where you have got, and let me pull this up again, and let me just uh, pull this down, and let me just put in here, by the way, $700, and I'll tell you why I'm putting a little bit more. When you first start, you want to have a little bit of a buffer, okay, and let's just do a count that buffer, let's go for $25 a contract, and we can see here, we're up to uh, within 17, sorry, 15 weeks, we're up to our 6,000 in our account where we flip over into the big contract. Now, if you keep going this way, you can see here, you're earning your 10,000 a week, but you're trading 100 micros. What it really means is you'd be trading 10 standard lots, not 100. Okay, and uh, but you can just see the huge potential. And let me just show you this. You get up to, say, 7,000. That also means you can have a larger stop loss. And just say here we earn uh, 250 a day. Okay, you can see the true potential there. Um, 10 grand a week within 16 weeks, 125,000 a week within week 25. Now, let's be, and that's trading 100 lots. Now, let's be realistic. Um, the psychological pressure on a trader there is huge, okay? And it's a lot easier if you're a prop trader, if you're trading someone else's money. But a whole lot of um, ramifications, a whole lot of considerations, I should say, come into it when you start to trade your own money. But for the younger traders, male or female, we've got some brilliant women that are traders. Uh, yeah, 10 grand to 20 grand a week, uh, you can do. What I tend to find is the older the trader, the more conservative, fixed mindset, which you've got to be careful of. Okay, and you may also be happy just earning three or four grand a week. Okay, that's a true potential, just trading three or four contracts and going for 250 a day. Now, the big contract models this almost identically. Okay, so. Um, you can see here my goal here. We have a concept, we call it follow the goal. Now, remember here, we're, we're trading and we're taking these in the direction of, whoops, did I just plot that accidentally? Let me just uh, remove that. We're trading in the direction of the higher 
time frame, and I don't have these on where they move automatically at the moment. Now, that was on the, uh, the micro oil. Now, the same thing goes, and here we've got current price section right now. Now, with uh, the micro ES, which I'm going to do a video on that separately, uh, we can see if we look at price action right now, eight ticks uh, comes to $10. Okay, so if you do five, uh, sorry, yeah, six, eight tick trades a day, that's $50 a day. And just to quickly show you this, the true potential here. Now, first of all, I believe, I'm very conservative, you need $1,400 to trade the micro. Okay, if you're going to trade the micro ES, now I know brokers will tell you you only need $100, $150, but if you're trading after hours, uh, your broker will tell you you need about $1,200, and for a new trader, allow a buffer. Okay, let's just say here you're going for your $40 a day. Let's just be super conservative here. We can see here that um, we're up to uh, our $14,000 in our account here within 20 weeks. Okay, and I'm being super conservative here because normally you'd be trading the uh, the, the ES with only four four or five thousand dollars maximum if you follow your two percent rule risk. Five thousand dollars means you can have a one hundred dollar risk. Here that would be the equivalent of fourteen thousand. Now if I go and put in there fourteen thousand for a moment. And there's a reason for that, because if you're trading after hours, your broker requires that you have the larger amount. Okay, so say if, let's just say you're going for your 300 a day on the micro, sorry, on the big contract here. Uh, you can see there 24 weeks are up to your 10 grand a week. And by the way, trading 100 contracts on the ES during New York hours, you can easily do. But that would take a certain type of person. Look at the capital there. So you started off with 14 grand, you're up to 1.5 million in 50 weeks. Now, what it comes down to is mastering, is learning really how to trade these entries. Now, number one, do I have a fanning of the EMAs? Yes, I do. Uh, if I looked over at the anchor charts, are the anchor charts trending in that direction? Because otherwise, we'd expand them out. You'd see, yes, we do have. Okay, uh, do I have a 2B? That's a 2B, by the way, and that's a 2B right there. And so it's just about learning the mechanical rules. And like, oh, here's another great market, by the way, and then we'll, we'll, we'll finish up. But with this, what we're looking at here is the 6C, is the euro dollar. Now, each one of these ticks is worth, it's another great market to start off with if you've got it, say, around the $24 to $2,600, okay? So I want to just quickly show you this, of the true potential with this. So if you start off with, let's just say, be conservative, $2,600 trading the, um, what, what are we talking about? The 6 e okay? And we go for one twenty-five a day, Okay. We're up to our 10 grand a week in 15 weeks, starting off with only $2,600. And that's the same deal, traders. You're only increasing or trading an extra contract uh, once you double your money. And so it's very conservative. Now here, the Globex market opened just here. This is the open of the Globex session a few hours ago. Okay, we had no trade. Now see that there? That's what we call a T3 and when we look at that, that formed, see there, that big spike up, you had no divergence at that, uh, do we have divergence? Oh, we actually did, but, but, but that is what we call the T3 formation there. Now, to give you an idea, how do you achieve 125 a day? Well, that's five, five tick trades a day after commissions will net you $127. Now, one, two, three, four, five. And if you traded that one there, which uh, let's not include that one, okay? You might have got that, but definitely that one. And here's another move here. You may have actually taken that one, but let's say you took this one. This is actually called a 2B. One, two, three, four, five. Now you get up to getting your six tick moves, by the way. You only need four of those a day. See this here? Straight away, I can tell you now, that's a 2B. Bang. Okay, now we look at this here now. 
Uh, let's just scroll along. Oh, that was the, <laughs> let me put the right market up here for you. Uh, yes, and we can see, ignore these little things down at bottom here. Uh, yes, so that was a, a T3 back there. And so what we've got here is nice divergence again, just here. There's my divergence. I hadn't adjusted this one. But anyway, overall traders, it's a, that was a 2B, that was a 2B, and that's what we call a T19, just there five or six ticks. So the potential is huge. What it comes down to is taking your time and learning how to trade with the trend, then to add the additional uh, techniques that you'll learn. Now here, for an example, there, just there, that was a 34B. And now we've got a 34B just here. Now this is where trading with divergence, just there by the way, uh, you actually have what we call a 1D, but it's failed, or I think it's about to anyway, okay? So this is where, and if you had have entered this trade, uh, you wouldn't have taken the trend trade. Trade with, there's your trend, there's your trend, and here is your other trend trade. So traders, I've covered a lot more than what I really intended to in this uh, session. Bottom line is, this ain't rocket science. It's about pattern recognition, developing what we call muscle memory, recognizing the patterns. Uh, so traders, uh, come and join me. Uh, make sure you uh, download my ebook. Better still, uh, become a member of a Day Traders Fast Track program for $197. From there, if you wish, you can even in, uh, end up uh, joining my coaching sessions, eight sessions, or even my live trading room, which I run, run actually three days a week. So thank you, traders. Uh, I'll see you on the next video.